On October 9th of 2022, the summit crater wall of the Mount Stromboli volcano unexpectedly produced a partial collapse. Since the section that collapsed had been holding back a moderate volume of highly pressurized magma and volcanic gas, the gas was released quite violently, causing it to fall back to the ground as what is known as a pyroclastic flow. Over the next 100 seconds, this pyroclastic flow raced towards the ocean at high speeds and caused a plume of superheated material to rise into the atmosphere. Some of the pyroclastic flow as it entered the water then began to travel a few dozen meters over the sea surface. What had just occurred was an unusual variant of a Strombolian eruption, despite the fact it produced a pyroclastic flow. For context, Mount Stromboli is located north of the island of Sicily, where it is the northernmost of four active or potentially active island-based stratovolcanoes. Since 1558, Mount Stromboli has been actively erupting 98.5% of the time. This pattern has continued into the 21st century, with Stromboli's latest eruption having begun all the way back in 1934. Mount Stromboli has a highly distinctive eruption type, where a mild explosion ejects bombs of lava to a modest height over the time span of a few seconds which releases minor amounts of ash. These explosions occur over variable periods of time, but generally occur about once every 15 minutes, and thus, the eruption type is named after the volcano and the scientific community, being known as a Strombolian eruption. Although these events characterize the average activity at this volcano, with several million small explosions having likely occurred since 1880, on occasion either something plugs the magma conduit, or not a sufficient amount of gas is released, causing a larger than normal amount of pressure to build. This can either lead to a Strombolian eruption, which may create pyroclastic flows such as what just occurred, or even rarer Vulcanian eruptions, which are named after their common occurrence during eruptions at the nearby volcano known as Vulcano. Vulcanian eruptions are generally more ash than lava rich, with their most important identifying feature, although not always present, being a pyroclastic flow. While small Strombolian eruptions seemingly occur several times an hour at this volcano, a scientific paper linked below suggests that larger Strombolian eruptions and Vulcanian eruptions have only occurred about once every nine and a third months, indicating 180 separate events between 1879 and 2020. Before October 9th, the last similar event I could verify at Stromboli happened on May 19th of 2021. Luckily, the vast majority of pyroclastic flows produced by these events are confined to a prominent collapse scarp on Stromboli's northwestern slope, although exceptions do exist as some prior eruptions have caused direct damage to structures on the island such as during on September 11th of 1930. In even rarer events, these uncommon larger eruptions may accompany or even occur alongside damaging tsunamis generated through either large pyroclastic flows entering the Mediterranean Sea or displacement from a landslide. Luckily, this eruption was comparatively small in the context of relatively recent events and no destructive tsunami was generated. At the present, a lava flow from the breach crater is rapidly flowing into the sea. Although the intensified eruption has waned, it may not necessarily be a one-off event. Scientific research indicates that the chance of more larger explosions occurring at Stromboli is elevated in the weeks to months following a previous large event. So, if you do decide to visit the island, be quite cautious. As a final note, I calculated the speed of the pyroclastic flow generated by the October 9th eruption at 32.44 miles per hour or 52.21 kilometers per hour, as during a period of 43.44 seconds the current traveled 630 meters or 2067 feet. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Dave Blake for supporting this channel.